Hello, sweet friends. Join me after the end of a very busy day around our home as I am freshly showered, trying to rest and wind down for my evening and start putting my home to bed. I love getting our spaces back to ready so that way we can wake up the next day feeling a little more put together than maybe we were the day before. Maybe this can be an encouragement to you to come and listen along while we work through a space in the house, tidying up and getting our space back to ready while really taking this message to heart, taking it to prayer and remembering what is most important. As Christian women, we have been blessed with the incredible calling to live out a biblical life and serve the Lord in our first ministry, our homes. In a world that often tells us to look outside for fulfillment and success, we are reminded that the true kingdom work, the true work of the Lord, it starts within the walls of our own households. Living a biblical life means embracing the principles, the values found in God's word. It means honoring him by embracing our role as wives mothers and keepers of our homes. It means prioritizing the spiritual well-being of our families. We nurture their faith. We create an atmosphere of love, grace, and peace. These things are so important. And I know it may look like dishes and laundry and yet another debacle between two sisters but that doesn't mean that it's any less kingdom work than anything else. Obeying biblical womanhood encourages us to walk in humility, kindness, and respect. It reminds us to be submissive to our husbands, not out of weakness, but out of a deep trust in God's design for marriage. It challenges us to be women of integrity, women of honesty, women of godly character in all areas of our lives. Serving the Lord in our first ministry requires a lot of sacrifice, friends, a ton of patience, and total selflessness. It means putting the needs of our loved ones above our own desires most often. It means being present and engaged in the lives of our children, truly pouring into them wisdom and disciplining their precious little hearts. It means creating a haven of love and acceptance for our families where they can find refuge from the storms of this world. Friends, let us remember that our service at home is not a lesser calling. It is a calling that holds eternal significance. The legacy we leave in the hearts and minds of our children, the love and stability we provide to our spouse, and the example we set for those around us, all of these truly, deeply have the power to impact generations to come. What could be more important when called to live for the Lord, when called to truly be kingdom builders, eternal kingdom builders. So friends, let us embrace our calling as Christian women, living out a biblical life, obeying biblical womanhood and serving the Lord in our first ministry, our most important ministry. Let us find joy and fulfillment in the work that truly matters. Cultivating a godly home. May our homes be a reflection of Christ's love and may the impact of our dedication to our families extend far beyond our own walls. I don't want to waste my life. I live heavenly minded. I have eternity to come and I know where I am going. But I'm here now. And I don't want to waste that. I want to give my all to the Lord. I want to give my all to building up the eternal kingdom. 
and the godly home that I am cultivating right now, while to you it looks like a messy house, um, sloppy hair, dirty dishes, nothing fancy. This is real. These are the children the Lord has given me. This is the spouse I have been blessed with. This is our home. While it might be kind of old and ugly, it's our home and it's beautiful. And I can cultivate this. I can provide a space that is truly that refuge from the storms of this world and not because it's perfect, but because it points us all to Christ. Amen. If you haven't joined us already, please come and do so as we spend our fifth year in a row studying through biblical womanhood, looking at what it means to truly walk in faith and be a grace energized woman. When we profess to be a follower of Jesus, we absolutely deserve the honor and blessing to walk as a biblical woman. Everything is linked down in the description box below. I can't wait to see you over there.